It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to be using conversion ratios. The first conversion ratio is one cup is eight fluid ounces, and the second is that one fluid ounce is equivalent to two tablespoons. Here's our math problem today. This question has three parts. Trevor has a recipe for honey mustard salad dressing. This table shows the ingredients and the amounts of each ingredient needed to make his recipe. So here's our salad dressing ingredients and our four ingredients. Part A asks us what is the number of fluid ounces of vinegar needed to make Trevor's recipe. And we're going to show or explain how we get our answer. So you're going to use these conversion ratios, these ingredients, and answer the question. Pause now, do your work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So for part A of this three-part question, we want to know the number of fluid ounces of vinegar needed to make the recipe. So we go to our ingredients and we see that vinegar is listed as five-eighths of a cup, but we want to know it in fluid ounces. So we're going to go to our conversion ratios and we're going to look at cups to fluid ounces. So the recipe is listed in cups and Trevor wants it in fluid ounces. So we're going to set up our conversion ratio, 1 to 8, knowing that this is cup to fluid ounce. So 1 cup is 8 fluid ounces. We're going to write a proportion using this ratio, and we know that we have to keep that ratio cup to fluid ounces. Going back to our recipe, we know that we have 5 eighths of a cup, and we want to know how much that is in fluid ounces. So understanding that we're going to use this ratio, to create an equivalent ratio, that means we're forming a proportion. So we know that one multiplied by five eighths is five eighths. We must do the same to the denominators of our ratio. So eight multiplied by five eighths. Let's do that over here. So we're gonna have eight times five eighths. Eight divided by eight is one, giving us five over one, meaning five. So we know that five eighths of a cup is equivalent to five fluid ounces. So he needs five fluid ounces of vinegar for his recipe, which is equivalent to five eighths of a cup. Here's part B. We're asked, what is the total number of fluid ounces of salad dressing that Trevor's recipe will make? And we need to show or explain how we get our answer. So pause here, solve part B, then come back to see my work. Welcome back. Now we want to know the total number of fluid ounces of salad dressing. So I'm going to add another column to my table here, bringing forward that we already discovered that 5 eighths of a cup of vinegar is 5 fluid ounces. So now let's look at the oil. Oil is 1 cup. If we go to our conversion ratios, we know that 1 cup is 8 fluid ounces. So this cup is equivalent to eight fluid ounces. Let's look at our honey. Here honey is a half a cup. If one cup is eight fluid ounces, a half a cup would be half of this, so four. Half of eight is four. Now let's look at our mustard. Mustard is in tablespoons, so we're going to come to the conversion ratio and switch down to two tablespoons is equivalent to one fluid ounce. So if we have one, we have half of this conversion. So half of that would be a half a fluid ounce. If two is one, then one would be half of that, which is a half. Now we need to total this all up because we want to know the total number of fluid ounces that he has in his salad dressing once he puts all of these ingredients together. Eight plus five is 13. 13 plus four is 17. 17 plus 1 half is 17 and a half, or 17.5. So we know that Trevor has 17 and a half fluid ounces of satellite dressing. That's part B. Here's part C. Trevor plans to use three tablespoons of salad dressing per serving. What is the total number of servings that he can make with his recipe? And we're gonna, being asked to show or explain how we get our answer. So pause now, and then come back to see my work. Welcome back. So Trevor wants to know the total number of servings out of all of his salad dressing when he needs three tablespoons per serving or per person. 
or maybe not per person, maybe somebody's going to have two servings, but three tablespoons for each serving of salad. So again, we're going to come back to our conversion ratios and we're going to want to convert our fluid ounces to tablespoons. So we're going to know that fluid ounces to tablespoons, we have one fluid ounce is equivalent to two tablespoons. And we're going to complete our proportion with an equivalent ratio of fluid ounces to tablespoons. Now let's bring forward that we know of the total recipe we just calculated in part B was 17 and a half fluid ounces is what we will make. And we want to know how many tablespoons this is going to be. So we're going to find out one multiplied by what is 17 and a half? 17 and a half. So two multiplied by 17 and a half will complete our proportion, making an equivalent ratio. Two times 17 is 34. Two times a half is one. So 34 plus one is 35. Two times 17 and a half is 35 tablespoons. Now, we know that we have a total of 35 tablespoons. We want to divide this by three. That will tell us if we divide by three, how many servings we can get out of our 35 tablespoons. So three goes into 35 11 times evenly. 11 times three is 33. We'll have two thirds remaining. So 11 and two thirds is equivalent to this division. We know that he can make, we are asked how many servings he can make. So we're not gonna, we're gonna disregard this two thirds and understand that Trevor can make 11 servings of salad dressing. So he'll have a little bit left over, but it won't be a complete serving. And so Trevor is gonna make 11 servings of salad dressing with this recipe. And there you have it. That's conversion ratios, one cup to eight fluid ounces, and how you can use one fluid ounce to two tablespoons to convert any measurement. And that's the magic of math, where we master math one video at a time. Thanks for joining me today, and I hope you'll come back soon.